Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the orthographic projection of solids using the Solid Edge software. In this problem, we have a tetrahedron of sides 40 mm which is resting on one of its sides on HP. This side is also parallel to VP and 40 mm away from it. It is tilted about the resting side such that the base containing this edge is inclined at 30 degrees to the HP. Draw the projections of the solid. So here we have got the solid as a tetrahedron. So tetrahedron is nothing but a triangular pyramid. So the base is a triangle and from each edge of the triangle we have got a equilateral triangular face all meeting at a common point that is the apex. And next the dimension here is 40 mm. So each edge of the triangle measures 40 mm. And we have got the resting condition as resting on one of its edges or the sides on the HP. And this side is also parallel to the VP. So here we do not have any inclination with respect to the VP. But the edge on which it is resting on HP is parallel to VP. So this is the given condition to us. And also the side such that okay, the base containing the edge is inclined at 30 degrees to the HP. So we are going to use these inputs to draft the solution for the given problem statement. So we'll begin with constructing the XY line. So select a line of thickness 0.18 mm. Let us draw a line of any arbitrary length, but the angle shall be either 0 or 180. Now let us annotate this line as X and Y and also the reference planes as VP and HP where the front and the top views are recorded respectively. Now we shall draw the top view of the tetrahedron which is nothing but a triangular pyramid. So now let us select the line by considering the top view of the tetrahedron. So the top view of the tetrahedron will be nothing but a equilateral triangle base and the triangular faces from each edge of the equilateral triangle. So now let us construct the equilateral triangle. So the edge length is 40 mm. So we shall draw a line of length 40 mm. And next we are going to consider the edge length as 40 and the angle to be equal to 150 followed by the next edge length to be equal to 40 mm and the angle to be equal to 30 degrees. So this completes the base of the triangular pyramid. So now we need to draw the faces of the triangular pyramid. So for that we shall consider the midpoint in the interlace sketch. So from each of the corner, join the line touching the midpoint of the opposite edge. So now use the trim option to trim the points of each of the triangular faces. And this completes the top view of the tetrahedron which is resting on one of its edges as shown here. So it is equal to. 40 mm. We shall annotate the top view. So let us tell that it is resting on the edge AB. And next the corner C. And then we have got the apex is O. And then inside the bracket we have got O1, which is the center of the base of the triangular pyramid. So this is the annotation. So now we shall construct the top uh, the front view for this. So select the line of thickness 0.13 mm. So from B and A intersect the XY line. Similarly from O O1 intersect the XY line and from the corner C intersect the XY line. So here we need to construct the front view of the tetrahedron. So first we shall construct the base. So select the line option of thickness 0.50 mm. So connect the end points of all the projection lines. Let us keep the midpoint off. So when we are going to construct the front view, select a line of thickness 0.13 and the axis of the pyramid 
select the center line so here we are not going to mark the axis as 40 mm so in the front view the face or the slant edge of the tetrahedron must appear as 40 mm so we shall simply draw a center line of any arbitrary length now let us select the arc by center point so from here we are going to cut a radii which is equal to 40 mm so the radius will be equal to 40 mm so just sweep like this so that it is intersecting the axis line and now from this end point join this to the point of intersection and then from the point of intersection connect it to the end point of the other projection line so now use the trim option and trim this radii and the remaining part of the axis line so this completes the front view of the tetrahedron which is nothing but a triangular face which is seen to the observer so we shall just do the annotation for the front view select the text option so for the observer the corner b is visible first so v dash and inside the bracket it is a dash and similarly here this is the apex o dash and this point is o1 dash and here we have got the corner c dash so this completes the front view of the tetrahedron so for all the measurement we are going to show this which is nothing but equal to 40 mm so now the next point is with respect to the hp so as per the problem statement he tells that it is tilted about the resting side such that the base containing this edge is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the hp which means that so the base which is containing this edges that is b dash a dash and c dash and this is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees so what we shall do is we shall select the front view of the tetrahedron along with the axis line and the annotations and create a copy of this by selecting the move option and ensuring the copy is on move this towards the right hand side of the xy line now go for the rotate option the first point of rotation is b dash a dash the second point of rotation is c dash and rotate this tetrahedron at an angle of 30 degrees so the base is at an angle of 30 degrees with respect to the hp so ensure all the annotations corresponding to the front view or kept above the xy line so this completes the front view of the second position so you can just see that the axis sorry not the axis here it is the base which is containing the resting edge is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees as per the given problem statement so now we shall complete the top view of this triangular pyramid so what we will do is we shall draw the horizontal projection lines and the vertical projection lines to get the top view so from o dash drop a perpendicular downwards similarly from b dash a dash drop a perpendicular and o1 dash drop a perpendicular line and then c dash drop a perpendicular line now let us intersect these with the horizontal projection lines a and b is here similarly o and o dash will be intersected from this line and even c is also intersected by the common line so use the trim option to trim the lines which is not required for our construction purpose so o1 dash is here a and b are these points and this is the point o dash so now you can just get the points of intersection as shown here now select the line option select the line of thickness 0 0.50 mm and let us begin with the corner c dash so the corner c dash has to intersect with the apex o so this is the end point and similarly so this is the corner a and this is the apex o and from apex o to the corner b and from corner b to the corner c 
So for the observer, when he is looking from the top, the corner A dash is the the corner B dash will be the farthest point. So from here it will be the dotted line. So let me select the hidden line or the dotted line and then connect this using the dotted line. Use the trim option to trim the projection line beneath this dotted line. And also we have got the outer edge from C to O. So this is the top view of the tetrahedron. So this is one triangular face and this is one more triangular face and this is the base of the tetrahedron. So you can just see the top view. So we shall annotate this. So this is the apex O and this is the corner A, corner B, corner C and this is the point O1. So from O1 to C, let us make this a discontinuous line so that we have got the point O1 also. So now if the axis or any other parameter is not inclined to BP, but the question tells us that the edge on which it is resting is parallel to the BP and is at a distance of 40 mm from it. So what we shall do is we shall go for the line option again, select a line of thickness 0.13 and drop a line measuring 40 mm from the xy line. So this is where this edge that is AB will be parallel. So what we will do is we shall select this top view of the tetrahedron along with the annotations and then go for the move option ensure the copy is on and then keeping the point A as the reference point place it at the end of this 40 mm line. Now select the rota rotate option. The first point of rotation is A. Second point of rotation is B. Ensure the copy is off and rotate it in such a way that this edge AB is parallel to this XY line. So you get this symbol which is indicating that it is parallel. Okay, so you can just see that now this edge AB is at a distance of 40 mm. So you can just delete this line, go for the distance between, select this line and the reference line and show the distance which is equal to 40 mm. So here the thick line is missing. So just go for the line option, select 0 0.50. This is from O1 to so now we shall draw the vertical and the horizontal projections and then complete the front view of this case. So select a line of thickness 0.13, draw the horizontal projection lines from the apex and also from the corners. Now let us draw the vertical projection lines. So the edge points A and B will be on the XY line itself. So C, O1 and O shall all intersect this particular horizontal projection lines at the corresponding points. Select the trim option, trim all these points and now we shall complete the front view. So select a line of thickness 0 0.50 mm. Let us draw the base of the tetrahedron and then connect these points B and A with the apex which forms the outer edges. Okay, and then we need to connect A with C. So the end point C is here on this line. And then we also need to connect C to B and then C to the apex. So this is the front view of the tetrahedron. So go for the annotation and annotate the points. This is the apex O dash. And this is the point of the corner C dash and this is B dash and here we have got the point of the corner A dash and then O dash is here. So this is O1 dash. So O1 dash to O dash will be the axis of the tetrahedron. 
So with this, we complete the constructions. Go for the leader option. Change the angle, sorry, the color to the black color. Click OK and indicate the direction of the projection lines. So with this, we have completed the problem. To summarize, we have got a tetrahedron, which is having its edges measuring 40 mm and is resting on one of its edges on the HP. And then the base, which is containing the resting edge is inclined to the HP at an angle of 30 degrees. And also the edge on which it is resting is parallel to the VP and is at a distance of 40 mm from the VP. So this is the construction. With this,